Well, today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking about how to have a sale. You want to have a sale? Maybe you're too good for sales. I don't know. Either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? It's nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out. If it's your first time here, I apologize for how crooked my nose is, but our content is halfway decent and it's much better than a cat video, so watch away. We have 170 plus episodes. It's a weekly podcast. Been doing it now for three years solid. Anyway, uh, go check it out. Thanks for being here. Make sure to leave a comment. Say what's up if you're watching on YouTube. If you're checking this out on any of the podcast platforms, please do leave a review. That means the world to me if you leave a review because that's like extra effort that you don't need to do. But anyway, leave a review if you would like. That helps us out here. And if you are one of the nation, one of the huh, cool kids certified, that means you watch everything, you listen to everything, you've comment, left a review, thumbs up every video, and most importantly, you buy your supplies from me, hashtag sh- uh, shameless plug. Well, thank you. It is because of you that I have a... Uh, iPhone 8. I don't even know what they're on right now. But either way, thank you very much. Uh, This is how I make my cheddar, guys. So if you do want to uh, put an order in through me, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, listen, it doesn't cost you any extra to do so. It's just a quick text. Instead of hitting the hit button, you go, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Put it through. And it means the world to me. I swear. It literally is the way that I exist in this world is putting orders in. So if you want to, high five virtual high five of awesomeness definitely definitely do that my number is 862-312-2026 if you got questions on anything i want to be a rep by the way when i'm a rep for somebody it's not just orders that's an awesome awesome part of course but questions on products questions on new products questions on bidding any of that stuff i want to be your partner get a guy everybody's got a guy you should too Again, 862-312-2026, blah, blah, blah. Shameless plug over today on Nation, the Window Cleaners podcast. It's also a podcast for anybody in the service industry. I don't know why I keep saying it's the Window Cleaners podcast, but it is. It's is. I'm a window cleaner. We talk window cleaning. But anybody in the home service industry benefit from this. But today we're talking about how to have a sale. Now, I get, actually I don't. I say that I do, but I really don't. People are not ever really mean to me, which is awesome. I hope, you know, people are like, hey, this dude's actually trying to help, even if he's dumb and his nose is crooked, which is extra crooked today. But anyway, uh, if that's the case, cool. I don't care. Uh, I'm glad I don't get negative comments. But this is the part I'm going to get negative comments on. It's going to be, I'm too good for a sale. Uh, I don't have sales. <laughs> I don't discount my work. My quality is the same. Why don't I charge the same? Cool, brah. That is awesome. Run your business how you want. I'm a nobody, just some dude with a mic, so I don't know how you run your business. However you decide to do it is awesome. But if you ever want to have a sale, here's how you do it. And we're going to talk about that because I'm a huge fan of doing sales, but also not doing sales the way you think. Now, what's a sale? Like, in general, it doesn't have to be like you go to Walmart, buy one, get one free, right? That's a giveaway sale. If you go somewhere and go, hey, right now it's 20% off, that's a money sale. I am not a fan of money sales. I'm not a fan of selling your services based on pricing. I'm not somebody who is completely focused on pricing at all. There's something to be said for adding value in a product uh, adding value in a sale that is better than money off. Because here's the thing. A lot of times with sales, you get lost in the noise. That's the biggest part of a sale. That's the biggest problem of a sale, right? Everybody's having this sale at the same time or, you know, $20 off. You're like, Oh, okay. You know, well, they probably just overcharged in the first place. That's why they're going, you know, right? There's a lot of things to get missed. And if everybody in a line, is holding up an orange, but you're holding up a banana, who stands out? The guy with a banana. It doesn't mean it's a better fruit. That's the dumbest analogy I've ever said. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
What matters is you're different, you stand out, you mix, get out of the noise. And here's a fact. The average person every single day sees 4,000 ads. Now, in your brain, you're like, that's not true. And I think that is a little high. That's what they claim. But here's the thing. If you go to work, how many billboards do you see? How many vehicles with logos, letters? How many signs do you see for buildings just on your way to work, just on your way to the first job? Right? On top of that, are you on the internet? Yeah. If you're on YouTube, every YouTube person but me uh, has, you know, sponsored videos where, you know, they're talking about a product and they're, you know, selling this and then commercials pop up. You get three commercials in one video unless you're a premium user. Uh, which I am because life is good. Uh, but you see the ads. You see the ads on Facebook, Instagram. You see sponsored posts everywhere. If you've been on our site, you've probably seen our ads everywhere because that's the point you stay relative. But here's the thing. Right now, what was the last ad you saw? Well, I mean, when you're watching this, how many hours have you been awake? You've seen ads. The first thing I do when I wake up other than like, you know, try to focus my eyes to see what's going on. I go on my phone and I check what's going on, major major important things. I just kind of look at things to kind of get my brain back up and running. And guess what I do? I go on Facebook. We have a lot of groups. If I'm on Facebook, I'm seeing ads. If you're on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, you're seeing ads. Now, breaking through the noise is huge. As we talk about USP, unique selling point, we talk about that and talk about that and talk about that. And if you're watching on YouTube, comment down below. Let me know what your USP is because you should have one. And I want to know. And I really do like conversating, talking back and forth, comment. Like, that's awesome. Awesome. Put a comment, question, whatever, and we'll chat. But I want to know what your USP is because that may break through the noise. But when you're doing a sale, how do you break through the noise with a sale? There's a big thing. Don't ever do a holiday sale. Now, you're probably like, oh, uh, I'm doing a Labor Day sale right now. WCR is still doing a Labor Day sale. I'm not talking about WCR. Man, I don't have control over that stuff. And uh, we're running through the inventory stuff anyway. So if you could save money that way, cool. But here's the thing. A, a percentage off never has value. A percentage off on a sale never has value. We'll get to that in a second. And a lot of times people will say, hey, it's a Memorial Day sale. It's the Labor Day sale. It's the Columbus Day sale. If you sell mattresses, awesome, right? But I couldn't tell you where the sales are on those days because there's so many of them. Don't do a holiday sale. Do weird sales. If you're going to do something, call it like, the last week of October sale or uh, the, you know, uh, you know, whatever. Don't even have a name to the sale. But the point is to not attach it to something that will get you lost in the noise. Don't do holiday sale. It just doesn't make sense unless you're mattress factory. And then you make such high margins anyway that you could do whatever the heck you want. But don't do holiday sales. It doesn't make sense. The best thing that I'll do is a pre-sale. So it'd be called like a, uh, you know, get a pre-fall deal or a pre-spring deal or, you know, sign up before spring and, you know, sign up before fall because that way you can get their brain into spring and fall. Why? The reason they buy. But also you're not going to be lost in the noise because a lot of people aren't going based off seasons like you are. So, Think about that when you're doing the thing. and You don't even have to name it. No one cares. What was the last sale that you bought something at? What was the name of the sale? I don't know. No one cares, man. No one gives two dumps about the name of your sale. So don't name it. Don't attach it to a uh, holiday. Don't start off getting lost in the noise. A big thing is that when you do a sale or when you start a sale or you have a promotion or whatever, don't go on price. We talked about this a few minutes ago, but price is not that important. Price doesn't matter. It's not the price. It's the standing out. It's the sense of urgency. It's the, why should I buy right now? That's the big, big thing. What do I mean when I say don't discount your services? Don't do 
a percentage off. And I jumped ahead just a second ago, but don't do the percentage off because a percentage doesn't have value. In order to get a percentage off, you have to spend money. That's embedded in people's heads. So you're like, buy now, save 10%. Okay, but I'm buy, I have to spend money. Like 10% off means nothing unless I'm spending money, right? So a percentage always sucks more than a dollar amount. Now, if you said get $20 off, right? If you do that, it's $20. $20 is value. You and I both know sitting here right now what $20 is worth. $20 doesn't mean I'm spending money. Just $20 is all you're focused on. So having dollar amounts is the big thing. But like I said, you're not discounting price-wise. You're not discounting percentage-wise, right? Sometimes people want to go, oh, I want $20 off. Mm, that's not really how it goes. You should be doing plastic gift cards anyway because it's an awesome idea. That's where you're doing dollar amounts. I'm going to give you a plastic gift card for 50 bucks off our services. $50 towards our services. If I give you that, it's a $50 gift card. If I give you a $50 gift card for anything right now, you're like, whoa, cool, thanks. Right? But what it is, is it gets people to buy your services. Our services start at $149. If I give you a $50 gift card, guess what? Even if you go with the basic thing we do, you're still paying money towards it. But it's $50. They're going to keep it in their wallet. Right? I'm giving money towards the purchase. I'm not taking money off. But the other thing is, is that price isn't what matters. What matters is the value for what you're selling. And here's a big thing. You'll see this a lot too on WCR if I can convince them of such. But if you buy something, you get something free. If you buy something, you get a bunch of stuff for free. And that is the way a sale should be done. And because you're adding value, you're not discounting. Now, let me preface that by saying I still understand the fact that it takes you time to do something and it is going to cost you because it's costing you time. But here's the thing. I can do a house wash. I could do a full house wash in about two hours on most of the houses. And that's me getting there, setting up and doing everything. If I'm already on site and I'm doing a house wash, it's going to take me about an hour's worth of labor, hour and 20 minutes worth of actual labor. The rest of it's like setting up and tearing down and driving there and driving home and talking to the homeowner and doing the, you know, <laughs> you're so funny kind of thing. What does an hour of your time cost? Now, I'm not talking about production rate. Even if you're talking about production rate, what if it's $65? Okay, $65 in production sounds kind of high, but... If you got somebody doing the work and you're paying them $10 an hour, $20 an hour, whatever it is, that's what the price is. It costs you $20 an hour to have somebody work. So if you just did a job for 20 or for one hour, it costs you 20 bucks. Now, what would you rather have? Would you rather have, you know, if you uh, buy a window cleaning and pressure washing, save $50, or would you rather have if you get a window cleaning, we'll give you a free house wash. I'm talking about sales that stand out. Your brain is like, what? I'm losing so much money. You're losing $20. It costs you $20 to do that. If you really want to increase things, get new customers, get new things, you want to draw something that's just going to blow people away, you add services. The true cost of services are always going to be less than the money that you're making for those services. Now, if I do a house wash, it starts at $249. So technically, I'm giving you something free, $249 free. However you want to work this to make sense. But that's what you're giving them. The value is $249. Uh, I'm not going to say I'll give you $249 worth of services for free. Like give them a coupon or knock $249 off of the price of something. But I'm going to give them that. They can still translate value to price and all that fun stuff. I'm giving them more value. You want a window cleaning, you get a free house wash or gutter cleaning. If you do a window cleaning and a house wash, I'll give you a free gutter cleaning. Our gutter cleaning starts at $199. You do both of those, I'm going to give you $199 gutter cleaning for free. Whoa, that's cool. Man, that's something I should think about. Mm, okay. Don't think about it too long because that deal ends in one week. That deal ends 
tomorrow. That deal ends this week. That deal ends whatever. Creating a sense of urgency is big. Now, a sense of urgency is always tough on print stuff. I always say that I don't put expiration dates on the coupons that come on the um, mailers because you never know when you're going to mail them. I'm still a big fan of that. I know sense of urgency gets people to buy, but I'm also a big fan of not wasting thousands of pieces because I printed something and now it's expired because there was rain and everything else. So anything else, I'm going to put a sense of urgency. If you want a free gutter cleaning, if you book a window cleaning and house wash, We'll do the gutter cleaning free. That's $199 service we're going to do absolutely free for you just as a thank you. Just as a thank you for trying us out. Just as a whatever. I'm going to put it out there. But that deal ends in five days. That deal ends pre-spring. Fall starts. Whatever the thing is. I'm going to make this nice creative sense of urgency. Like if you book now, I can do that and get you in that deal. This deal is not even public. I don't put this anywhere. Uh, but what I can do is this and this and this. That gives you $199 free gutter cleaning. However you word it, it has to be that that deal is ending soon. They have to jump on it. Because if I always said, hey, if you ever book a window cleaning and pressure washing with our company, you will always get a free gutter cleaning. Like, oh, that's, that's, that's something. Yeah, yeah, make me think about it. Okay, maybe it helps you sell something in the future, but it doesn't get people to go book right now because they can go, well, anytime. He said anytime. Maybe a spring I'll take advantage of that. You know, it'll be a bunch of leaves. Maybe I'll wait till next fall since I got it all done, you know, or uh, it's getting late, it's getting cold. Maybe I'll just do it next fall. You know, they'll do it for free. Well, you, it didn't really help to have the deal if they're just going to take advantage of it at any time. But if the deal exists... It means it's a good deal for you. It means that doing what that thing is makes sense. So even if you do a mailer, an EDDM or something, by the way, we do printing. If you want printing, let me know. I can now put printing orders in. Yeah. Awesome. Awesomeness. Um, So please do let me know. uh, 862-312-2026. If you're new to the show, I'm sorry for the shameless plugs. Get used to it. Uh, But... Um, if you're doing EDDM, don't put expirations on something because I always figure if I did whatever, you know, free gutter cleaning or whatever, that's going to come back to me. Even if uh, somebody puts it on their fridge and I've gotten stuff where I'm like, Oh, I didn't send that. I sent that like three years ago. Oh, uh, it's been sitting on my fridge. I just keep forgetting to do it. Well, I didn't create a sense of urgency. I got that, but they still came to me three years from now. I still am good with doing deals because it still made sense. It still helped people seal the deal. I'm completely fine with giving more value for a project because people are going to like it. The other thing, when you give something free with a promotion that's going on, especially with sense of urgency, that promo ends in 10 days. That promo ends this week. If that is the deal with the promotion, it gets people to book. And then it also gets people when they rebook, not to expect the same deal because they're like, Oh, that, that deal ends now. And I'm not booking again for three months six months, which by the way, if you book services, when you're done with your service, you should be booking your next appointment right away, right there. What does the dentist do every time? Every time you leave the dentist, you have your next appointment. And why is that in your brain? You're like, Oh, that's so I don't forget. Yeah. It's exactly why you've never thought of it as a dentist sales ploy or pitch, but it is. They make the next appointment so that they know every six months they're going to have you in and they're going to be doing your teeth and they're going to be making money. But on your end, you're like, oh, they're just reminding me. That's exactly what that is. Oh, hey, so when would you like to plan the next one? Are you more of uh, wanting this to get done every three months? Uh, or did you want to wait uh, until uh, six months from now? So if you're in fall, did you want to wait till next spring? Or if you're in spring, did you want to wait till next fall? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's plan for uh, fall. Well, great. Uh, well, let's plan it for the uh, 13th, uh, of October. Uh, what we'll do is we'll call you the beginning of that week too. And just let you know, we're coming. That changes things that makes it. So now you have to uh, do your prep calls. Just call on Monday. If you have office staff or you're doing it yourself, just call everybody that's scheduled for that week. And just, hey, just, so you know, uh, we had you down on the 13th. I just wanted to give you a nice quick reminder, everything else, make sure everything's moved away from the blah, blah, blah. And by the way, we also do gutter cleaning and pressure washing. Did you want to add any other services to that? If you do, You know, I can get that set up now. Anyway, 
that's for another show, but that's how you should be doing it. You got to create the sense of urgency. The sense of urgency gets people to buy now, but the value gets people to see why they should choose you. There's something that they say, uh, and it is um, have so much value that they have to buy. And go, well, nobody has to buy. But the thing is, is if you don't buy, you're going to miss out on something and you're going to kick your... You're like, it's such a good deal that if you don't buy, like, oh, it would be dumb because I'm going to get it done. If I don't buy it now, then I'm just going to be paying for that later. Right? Make a deal so good they have to buy. And I'm not saying do a, a sale at all points at all time, but if you're trying to boost your fall sales, we're coming out of COVID's absolutely craptastic 2020. If you're like, hey, fall has to kill it for me because I can't go into winter with the low money that I made from not having a spring, then maybe it's time to do something awesome. Maybe it's time to blow these promotions out, make something killer. Make it so good they have to buy. And there's another thing. There's a deal that always goes on that you know the name of and it always forces you to get more from them. It always forces you to get more from them. And something like the Arby's 5 for 5. You've heard of that. Everybody's heard of that. Even if you don't like Arby's. One of my favorite restaurants, by the way. Uh, Because I eat keto, I can just get like piles of meat. But anyway, uh, on the opposite side of that. um, Arby's 5 for 5. If the deal is going on, they have a big plaque right there and go, Arby's 5 for 5. Nobody buys their dollar. I don't even know how much it costs. I've I really don't go there that often, but say it's a dollar 50, right? For one, nobody goes there and is like, well, I just want one sandwich. It's Arby's five for five, even numbers, sexy numbers, five for five. What are you going to get? You're going to buy the five for five. Even if you just went in there looking to buy one, you'll buy five, right? It's the same thing as if you are, and, and by the way, uh, Arby's five for five. It tells you how much the price is and what you're getting. It doesn't tell you if you buy five, we'll save you 20%. It's translated even sexy quick, right? Same thing with you. If you do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, whatever say, Hey, right now in fall, we'll do the big three, which is your window cleaning inside and outside. We'll do your house washing and we'll do your gutter cleaning. Now, Say your normal price on that is $250, $255, uh, $2567, $700. But if you do all that, say, we'll do the big three for $500. People are like, whoa, all right, $500 and get everything done? Well, you're discounting your price, but you're actually adding value. For $500, we're going to do all this stuff. It's not discounting. Discounting gets lost, but doing the big three for $500. Or the big three for $4.99, right? Like that kind of stuff will break the noise and get people to look. It's the reason memes work. Memes work in sales. Um, Funny pictures work, right? One of the best pictures I ever did, the best ad I ever to this date ever did. And no, by the way, don't call me and ask for this because I don't have the file anymore. Uh, My company that I sold has a file and I don't have a copy of it. But it was what we called the gutter squirrel or uh, the gutter... What was it? Tiger squirrel. Anyway, yeah, the tiger squirrel. And what it was, was a squirrel on the edge of a gutter. And it was like chirping, but it looked like it was roaring. And it was painted like, uh, you know, Photoshop to look like a little lion. So you had a picture of a gutter with a squirrel that looked like a tiger. That's what it was. Tiger stripes. It was the greatest thing ever. Every single person who saw that picture flipped it over and read it. I had people call me and say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm in a condo and, um, I don't even have gutters. They take care of that for me. But I just wanted to say that your ad was awesome. It was so funny. I loved it. People on Facebook would just comment. I would have 100 comments on, a, on an ad just because the picture was great, which meant people were stopping to see it. The picture, the meme, the whatever, it was eye-catchy. It broke through the noise. It's the same thing when you're doing a sale. It has to break through the noise. If it breaks through the noise, it gets people to read. It gets people to look. And by the way, If you know, I know uh, I don't do a lot of coaching. I just have a couple slots. Um, But the people that do coaching uh, also do funnels. Sometimes we do uh, Facebook ads and promotion things where we set up a Facebook 
uh, ad, a daily spend and everything. And the point of a funnel, if you don't know what a funnel is, by the way, sales come in, you collect information on the customers, you give them something for that, the information is yours, it's now a lead, you call them, book their appointment, it's somebody who's interested, that's why they're a lead. If anybody wants funnel information, uh, ask me, uh, whatever. Anyway, on top of that, the biggest way to make a funnel work or the biggest way to make a Facebook ad work is to break the noise. It needs to pop out on a page so that you look at him like, what the heck is that? Like, you don't realize there's ads, right? You know you're on Facebook all the time and you don't see those ads. You know you're on Instagram all the time and you don't really realize they're ads. But it has to be eye-catchy. It has to make you stop. It has to make you, as you're scrolling through, oh, oh. because then that makes people click to be interested. I've had ads like that where it's just a picture. People then click on the picture because like, what the heck is this? Now all of a sudden they're in and I can tell them the information. If you ever want to mess something up, especially like with sales uh, or big, you know, big sales or whatever, it's giving too much information. You put this big, hey, it's the the later Labor Day sale. Save 10% by buying any of our services. We do window cleaning, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, gutter repair, screen cleaning. We do house washing, roof cleaning. We have fully insured. And we, oh, this whole book, man. By the time you've read all the garbage you just put out, they forgot the fact that there's a sale. You did everything wrong. You did the holiday. You did the percentage. You did... That whole thing, people go, ah, my area, they just, it's its not. I got to lower my price. People aren't choosing me. I got to go cheaper. I got to be cheaper. That's why they're going with the other people. No, it's because your ad sucks. Sorry. By the way, if you have any angry emails, send them to jersey at windowcleaner.com. Um, but no, that's the reason. That's the reason sales don't work. Is you have to do that. Another thing that people don't do that is super crucial is having the same ad all across platforms. The same ad. Now, this is just kind of an example because we have an in-house marketing department and I don't make the, the covers to this. There's a billion things. I work a lot of hours. If you don't know already, I work a lot and that's cool. I love it, but I don't have time to do the Photoshopping for the covers and things. We have Justin, who's our awesome guy, do those. But for those, I say, here's what it is. This is what I need. And I get four files the exact same logo in different formats. So Instagram pictures are square. There's different sizes than a Facebook cover. And that's different than a YouTube cover. So what happens is I have to get all these different ones. The other one's SoundCloud for anybody. If you're on SoundCloud, if you're listening to this, those are different sizes and different shape. The same information, same color, same logo is then pushed into a shape, right? So the Facebook one, what shows is not the actual size of the picture, so there's a lot of blank space, but it's the same backer. And then you take all those information, you move it around on the same ad, same color, same everything. All you do is move it to make a smaller picture. That's how ads for sales should be. Your sales should have the exact same thing, logo everywhere from your funnels and Facebook ads all the way to your website, to your EDDM. It should be across the board the same. And that reason is because people then will catch it. They recognize it. They are scrolling. They recognize it. They don't know how they recognize it, but they do. Break the noise. Make everything the same. Guys that do, oh, I got this ad for this and this thing, but it's the same information. No one's going to see it. No one's going to read it. No, one ha no one's going to read it to remember they remember the information, but you will remember a picture. Even if you don't remember what's on the picture, you'll remember a feel, a picture, a look, or whatever. It's familiarity. It's the reason why we think we see people, our faces and everything. You look at grains of salt and you can see faces. There's faces on the moon. There's fa Your brain instantly looks at things and tries to place it to something that makes sense. It can't just be a shape, right? It just can't be a shape. So build those up the exact same and make it everywhere. That's the biggest thing about this. Make that uniform, put it across all platforms. Um, another one and the biggest one that kind of finishes this whole thing out is don't be scared. Don't look at it and go, oh man, oh man, I'm giving away a free fill in the blank. Oh man, if they have me pressure wash their house and do the roof, I'm going to give away a free patio and walkway cleaning. Uh, man, that's like a couple hundred dollars. What's a customer worth to you? Because here's the thing, 
if you're really trying to increase everything, and I always tell you you're adding value, you're always adding value to what we do. Never drop your price. It, if you shop, if you sell on price, you only get people to buy on price. They don't care about anything else, and they'll drop you for the next guy who comes in for a lower price because that's all you're, you're, all you're advertising on. But if you add value, it will get people to do it now, book it. People like sales. I'm going to go out on another uh, limb of uh, upsetting people here. Our target market is a woman. My target is, uh, her name's Eileen, and she is 35 years old to 48 years old. That is my target ideal customer. People go, well, you got people older than that. I know I do, but the cookie cutter houses that I love, that's my bread and butter right there. Right, that mix, that that combination of person is going to be female. They're going to have one and a half kids and a you know dog and a cat, whatever it is. But women like to shop. They like sales. What happens if you have a spouse? And I'm sorry, ladies, if I'm talking to you, think of your friend. Right, when they come back, I have daughters. My daughters are 11 and I'm sorry, 10 and uh, 14 right now. I have to hear and see everything they buy. They'll go and they'll go with Nana, you know, the uh, the grandma to like the Goodwill or something just to shop and pick out clothes and spend $8 or whatever. And uh, the stuff they find, I have to see all of it. And then they try it on, they show me. And they go, I got this shirt for only $2, right? You know you've seen it. Everybody wants a good deal, especially a woman and especially... Being our target market, that's who wants our services. So make it something special. Make it something awesome. Make it blow somebody away that they have to buy or they feel dumb because they didn't buy. But most importantly, don't be scared. Don't be scared to do a sale. Just do it right. And boom, ROI. Plus the other thing is is once you get a customer, they're a customer for as long as you can keep them. Customers are super valuable. You go, oh, that customer was a $149 job. Yeah, but guess what? Maybe you're doing that $149 job every six months for the next 10 years. That's a lot of money. That's a valuable customer, right? Anyway, there you go. I hope you dug it. I hope, by the way, I like every time I get emails, texts and everything, people just text me like, yo, your show was great, man. I really learned a lot. That's huge because I stare into a little camera screen. Anytime you guys buy from me. I know that's like a monetary thing and I should like the money, but I like the fact that people take the time out of their day to buy from me like that. That's like all the ultimate kind of like I always say high five, but it is, it really is really, really awesome. So I do appreciate it. If you want me to be your rep, I would love nothing more. My number is 862-312-2026. It's in every episode. It's on the screen on YouTube. Call me, save that number, text me. Texting is always better because I'm on the phone quite a bit, but Shoot me a message. Be like, yo, whatever you want. Let me know. I love to talk back and forth. Um, Most importantly, uh, go out there and do everything that you can. By the way, if you order with me, Cool Kid uh, uh, Design 1 episode. I don't know what we're calling that. That's the first design sticker. Limited. When that one is gone, we do another design, and that goes up with an order. Let me know you want a Cool Kids sticker. Let me know you love the show. Tell me something about that, and I'll throw a sticker in. And I know it's stupid. It's little. Put it somewhere. Be awesome. Post pictures. Post pictures of the sticker. That's the biggest thing. And, uh, yeah, get ready for round two on that one. Just collect them all because that's a thing that people do. Thanks, guys. Uh, Go out there. Have your sale. Have fun with it. But more importantly, be epic. 